the Lord wants us. Well, good afternoon, friends. I think it is good afternoon by now. If you're hot down there, believe me, I'm very warm under all these robes up here. <laughs> Uh, it is only when you see the smallness of the Godspeed behind you, moored here below us, that you can grasp the scale of that first crossing. 104 settlers and 55 crew crammed into three tiny boats, and at the end of nine months, only 38 of them remained alive. Whatever the consequences of the crossing, its courage can never be doubted. Many more were to die, Englishmen and Indians. Many would suffer, starve and perish in battle and from disease in the years that would follow. Slavery came to these shores with all its cruelty. But tragedy must not destroy what we can all rightly celebrate here today. When I was here two weeks ago with Her Majesty the Queen, a United States television reporter asked me, what are you, the Brits, celebrating? After all, you lost the colonies. Well, for us Brits, there are three things that we celebrate most joyfully. First, the three little ships began the voyage of English from the language of three and a half million islanders to the worldwide language that English is today. His Royal Highness Prince Philip, who is President of the English Speaking Union, wrote this in the foreword to my book to which reference has just been made. And I thought I would just read you two sentences. Prince Philip wrote, it was the little acorn of the English language planted at Jamestown that grew to become the tallest of oaks, the common language of the greater part of the American continent. Similar acorns were planted in other parts of the world, which together with the Jamestown acorn have grown into the mighty oak forest of English-speaking peoples. No wonder we rejoice. By the end of this decade, my friends, over two billion people, two billion, will use English, the working language of the global village. There are more people in China learning English today than there are people speaking the language in North America. And so it is important, I think, 